Hey y'all, today I wanted to walk you through how I made this cute little hat, both for myself and my little friend here. This is based on an American Girl doll hat that I found on Etsy. It was the only pattern that I could actually find for any kind of like this Sherlock-esque type Deerstalker hat. As of making this video, the shop that had made this pattern has closed, as well as the pattern itself not being available anywhere anymore. So I will be posting the pattern and everything else that came with my purchase on my Patreon for free for anyone to download until if the shop ever decides to open back up, then I will remove my pattern and link them instead. But like I said, this was the only pattern that I could find for any hat that was like this. And I just really wanna make sure people have access to that. I made both of my hats a little bit differently than the tutorial told me to because I wanted specific styles for what I needed. So I'll be going over how I made those. I started by tracing my pattern onto my plaid cotton and lining. For how I made my sprinkle hat, I needed six pieces of cotton and lining for the crown of the hat, two for the lining and cotton for the ear flaps, and two lining cotton and interfacing for the brim to keep it nice and sturdy. Once cut, I pinned my pieces and began sewing all the panels. With the crown pieces, I pinned and began sewing them all together for the base of the hat. Once the bowl shape was created, I sewed the brim on and then the ear flaps. For my jester hat, I decided against the ear flaps because they would have looked awkward on top of the wig, but for sprinkle they fit beautifully. Once the hat was completed, I added a large button to the top to match the buttons that I used on the waistcoat of my Detective Jester cosplay. It covered the top spot well where some of my pieces didn't quite lay right and added a little bit extra detail. For my Jester hat, I attached it to a simple wire headband that it hides in the wig. For Sprinkle, I'll be adding a little piece of clear plastic so it stays on his head. And here's the finished piece! I'm really proud with how both hats turned out as I've never made a hat before. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please be sure to leave them down below in the comments. If you want to see the full tutorial walkthrough on how I made my Detective Jester look, you can check that out on my Patreon, which is listed below, as well as my Ko-fi, because I've listed it both there. Also, pardon if I sound really crappy, I, uh, I've had the plague for the last week, so not completely all there yet, but uh, we're getting there, folks. Um, so thanks for putting up with that throughout this video, and uh, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.